is between the CNS North Stars and the Baldwinsville Bees. It's time now to introduce the visiting Cicero North Syracuse lacrosse team. Number two, Olivia LaMontagne. Number four, Paige Dorgan. Olivia. No, this can't be the starters. Number five, Jordan Francotti. Yeah. Number seven, Allison Bartlett. Number ten, Victoria Dunham. Number twelve, Sydney Franco. Number fourteen, Sarah Klein. Number seventeen, Iris Piagentini. Number eighteen, Kim Parker. Number nineteen, Gabrielle Reed. Number 20, Olivia Haven. Number 23, Molly Molchanoff. Number 25, Brianna Jackson. Number 27, Caitlin Lippert. And now the starting lineup for Cicero North Syracuse. Number one, Julia Alberici. Starting at attack, number three, Olivia Africa. Number six, McKenna Scarlata. Number eight, Delaney Starr. Number nine, Jessica Foley. Starting in at midfield, number 11, Jessica Manili. Starting in at midfield, number 13, Megan Trenitsky. Number 15, Brenna Duffy. Number 21, Bella Orlando. Number 22, Kelly Heffron. Number 24, Olivia Messina. And starting in that goal, number 30, Lauren Gilbert. Head coach is Lloyd Hamilton, assistant coach Pat McNamara. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce your Baldwinsville Bees. Ladies and gentlemen, number seven, Madeline Chiz. Number eight, Lily Foote. Number 17, Megan Donahue. Number 20, Emmy Foote. Number 22, Catherine Ficara. Number 31, Emma Stakes. Number 33, Michaela Spicer. She's probably really good. Number 99, Molly Merriweather. Brother, the brother's got to be heaven. And now the starting lineup for the Baldwinsville Bees. Starting in midfield, number three, Hannah Johnson. Starting in at attack, number four, Peyton Fleming. Well, they got a small team. Though. Starting in midfield for the Bees, yeah. number five, Maria Henwood. Starting at an attack for the Bees, number six, Monica Lanier. Starting at an attack, number nine, Sarah Goodwin. Starting at the midfield, number 13, Catherine Pascal. Starting midfielder and captain, number 16, senior Julia Poucher. Starting at defense, number 21, Kayla Sweeney. Starting at defense, senior number 23 and captain Paige Smith. Starting at defense, number 24, Kira Curtis. Starting at defense, senior number 32 and captain Natalie Farnett. And starting at goal for the Bees, number zero, Julia George. 
coach Megan Collins and assistant coach Lyle Brown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the Beeville and CNS lacrosse players are coming together to support a local program provided through Maureen's Hope Foundation called Beads of Courage. This program is a way for pediatric oncology patients to record, share, and tell their story through commemorative beads they are given for each milestone endured along their journey. The beads are truly beads of courage. The players are all participating in the Carry a Bead program to share their personal strength, courage, and positivity directly with hospitalized children. A personal note with the bead worn by the player will be given to a hospitalized child and let them know that they are not in this fight alone. Tonight is about camaraderie and community. There is strength in numbers, and thank you to all of the players. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your caps as we honor our country and those who defend our freedom with the playing of the national anthem. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rugged red glare, the bombs burst in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Pelcher Arcaro Stadium on a, dare I say, lovely, splendid Tuesday evening here. I'm Sean Soccer. I'm always joined here, of course, with the, with the uh, venerable Joe Lafredo. To my left, my good friend, the yeoman Mike Stoliker. Stolly, welcome back. You've been on a little bit of a sabbatical. Yep, good to have you back. How you feeling, Mike? Uh, not too good. Mike, I just want to let you know he's under the weather. He's going to battle through it for us today, but it's great to have him here, folks. And what a treat we got tonight, folks. You've got your lady Baldwinsville Bees uh, lacrosse team taking on the CNS North Stars. Now, CNS comes in with an overall record of 11 and 4. They're 4 and 3 in the CNYCL, Mike. Yep. And uh, Beeville, on the other hand, this is a big, big game for them. They sit at eight and six overall, but they're three and four in the CNYCL. Um, Mike, I think you know these two teams played earlier this year, correct? At CNS. Yes. Yep. So I, I believe it was a uh, it was a 14-7 CNS win in that game on uh, CNS's home field. Uh, some of the big hitters for the CNS North Stars, though, uh, if you look, they're loaded, folks. They have some uh, uh, pretty special players. Uh, what you want to look out for tonight is, uh, first of all, is going to be number 11, Jessica Manili. Uh, she's a junior, she's a midi. Right now she's carrying about 60 points. Uh, she's got 51 goals on the year with 8 assists. Also, another player that you want to take a look at is Brenna Duffy, number 15 for the CNS North Stars. Uh, she is also a junior, she's an attackman. She's got 13 goals and 36 assists, so she's by all means a feeder, yeah. It looks like she's the one that's been feeding most of her teammates all year long. Now, for your Bowensville Bees, they've got a couple of special players as well. Uh, first and foremost, they've got Sarah Goodwin, uh, the good-looking junior. Uh, Sarah, on the year, has got 47 goals and 20, 25 assists. Um, she is just a junior, so we get another year with her, which is going to be special. She's also joined uh, on attack by Peyton Fleming, number four. Uh, she's also a junior attackman. Uh, she's got 24 goals and uh, 25 assists. So buckle up, folks. Have a seat. Enjoy the game. Uh, we're at the, uh, the draw here, and it looks like it's going to be Katie Pascal. Um, Katie, um, in her, herself, I believe, is only a sophomore, if I'm not mistaken. No, I believe she's just a ninth grader. 
a youngin. But anyways, the face goes off to uh, Kiara CN, Curtis. CN, yep, Kiara Curtis takes it over there. It looks like they're going to get it behind the X to number one. That's going to be Alberici. Alberici is going to be looking for Africa there, looking for cutters. Alberici, uh, Julie Alberici, she is a senior. Uh, she's got 18 goals and 13 assists, number one. So she's somebody else we're going to have to be looking out for here. Again, it goes over there to number 24. Uh, that's uh, Messina. Gets it back here to Alberici. CNS got him spread way out. Uh, Baldwinsville out there, their defense looks like it's led out there by the, uh, looks like it's going to be Natalie Farnett. Looks like we've got the usual cast of characters. Looks like we've got Paige Smith. There's a, yep, there's a cut pass, not there. Farnett's digging for it. Comes up with it, zigzags, gets out of trouble. There's a whistle. Looks like, yeah, she got it. She took it in the noggin. Now, folks, a quick disclaimer here. Mike and I know absolutely zero about the uh, rules of lacrosse here. So we're going to be throwing stuff out and hoping it sticks basically all night long. Right, yes. Mike? Yep. Okay, so uh, we got a whistle Farnett here looking to get in. Take off with it. Yeah, it looks like Farnett gets it back George. over to, yep, gets it to George, gets it out there on the far side, trying to get a number for you on that. Oh, we got a cutter. That's Pascal. Pascal, the good-looking freshman, legs it out, puts in the left-hand cross. Cradles looks to try to get it over midfield. She does. Oh, nice check over the head. I believe that was Manili, yep. number 11. Yep. She's their stud for CNS. We got a fast break, unsettled situation. She's going to be picked up there by Farnett. Looks to make a move inside out, not there. Great defense, double team, ball down. It's going to be Farnett out there. I see Maria Henwood out there. Yep, picked up by. Yep, that's. I think that's Paige Smith, Mike. Twenty-three. Yep, that's going to be Paige Smith, I believe. Yep. Good job, Smitty. Paige Smith, the senior defenseman, captain. I believe she's a captain. I'm going to call her a captain. She's a captain in my eyes. Long pass, a little bit out of trouble. That's going to be out of ball. Yep. Going to be turnover. Baldwin's are going to go back over to CNS. We might as well get the officials out of the way, folks, tonight. It's going to be a two-man crew tonight. It looks like it's going to be Gary Delabate and Ronnie Mund with 22.59 left in the uh, first half. Plenty of time. Here's a quick move. Looks like shot score. Boom. Just like that. That's going to be number six. Yep, nice job by number six there. Who is that? Yep. So McKenna Scarlotta goes right left hand, buries the shot with 22.52 left in the first half, unassisted goal. So just like that, like I said, Mike, CNS is going to be potent. They've got a potent offense. I believe they are state ranked. I believe they are in the top 10 in the state, believe it or not. Um, Beville, I'm not sure if they're ranked. Um, I doubt it. They need this win for, uh, for a good placement in sectionals. Um, I have seen some other high school coaches here from other girls teams looking to scout them out tonight, uh, both clubs, with anticipation of both of them, of course, making the sectional, right. sectional play. So here we go at the face. It looks like it's going to be Pascal Manili. and Manili. Yeah, yeah. Yep, getting their feet work right. That's fine. Get their footwork set. Looks like that's Munn looking to get a draw going here with uh, 22.52 left in the first half. We're going to have a whistle right here. Here we go. There's the draw up in the air. Girls slap at it. Nothing there. Looks like it's going to be number 13 over there for... Uh, looks like it's going to be, yeah, number 13, 13 rocking the, yeah, rocking the black knee brace. She's still battling. Looks like 24 is going to come up with it. No. Nope. Oh, come on there, 24. Let's get at it there. That was Trinisky right. out there for CNS. Finally, uh oh. CNS. That's it over there, Trinisky. Yep. Trinisky looking to get free on it, Mike. Working the left hand. She's being guarded highly there by uh, number 23. I believe that's Paige Smith. Yep. Good job, Smitty. Now we're looking for cutters. We have to be, ooh, that was a good cut. Almost had her. Looks like that's going to be number one. Alberici gets it back out here to Africa. Gets it up top here to number 13. That's, let me get a number name for you. It's going to be on the second page, I think. Uh, Megan Trinitsky. Yeah, Trinitsky's 13. Okay, yeah, she's rocking the, uh, the black uh, knee brace and the pink headband. I'll remember that one. Trinitsky. She's from the old world, just like me. Trinitsky, I bet she's got a little bit of probably a Polish background. Maybe Eastern European. Similar to what I am, we're practically cousins. Oh, she drops it. That's all right. Oh, takes a big stick. Oh, no foul. Love it. Yeah, we'll take it. We got a fast break the other situation. That's going to be Pelcher. Pelcher with the left hand, number 16. She's a senior looking to feed, gets it in the middle there. That's Goodwin. Goodwin looks it to Hannah Johnson. Johnson looking to put a move on. I got a nice story about Hannah Johnson later on. Um, great kid. Got a great story for her. Hopefully, she can find the back of the net. Gets it over here. This is Fleming rocking the black one. Yep, she's got a shot. Shot oh, saved. Geez. That's by Gilbert. She's coming out. Yep, she's yep. Got Gilbert's it. got it. Now you can go in and out in the goalie here. Oh, they, now that's another tidbit I didn't know, Mike. Way to go, buddy. Yep. That was number 30. That was Lauren Gilbert with the save. Gets it out here on the near side. Pushing it up. Another one rocking the ponytail. Oh, yeah, pushes it in there. That's 24. Who's 24? That's Scarlata? Nope, check that. 24, that's Messina. Yep, yeah, surprise, we got a whistle. Oh, look at the sun out there on the field. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, long time coming. yeah, long time coming. You're not kidding, brother. We got Hannah Johnson going to be taking a poke down there at number 21. 
figure out who that is. She might be a second Isabella pager. Yeah. Orlando. Orlando. Orlando on a break here? Is this? Oh, dumps it into Minnelli. This might be a shot. Oh. Save George. Oh, battle yeah. inside. We got to clear it out of there, girls. With 20, 33 yeah. left first half. It's got to be like an impediment. They can't get in their way. Yeah. So whose ball is it? It's Bevo ball, right? Okay, look for a quick, fast break here. Look at, yep. Passes it. Oh, it's a tough pass. Got to come up with it. That's Goodwin. Goodwin's got it in her left cross. Yep, that's going to be a whistle. That's going to be a stick in the face. Nine. Nine's got the ball. Yep, that's Goodwin. Number nine. That's Goodwin, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Goody. Yeah, that's all right, Mike. That's all right. You're a little rusty. You've been off for a week. Yeah, welcome to the party, pal. Yeah, look, oh boy, we got some checking and running. Goodwin looking nice left hand. Gets it over here to the top. That's Pascal. Pascal gets it over here to Pelcher. Pelcher again rocking the red bandana. Senior gets it off here to Fleming. Fleming just a junior. Accessorizing nicely with the black gloves. Gets it back over here, far side. Johnson, come on, Hannah, put her in the vortex. She does, looking to get her into spin move. Not there. In the left cross, we got a cutter. That's Lanier. Lanier can't handle it. We got a fast break the other way. She stopped going. Yep. Yeah, she's got to finish her cut. I agree. Oh! Almost a hero dodge. Kind of comes away with it. That's Manili running. Cradle close to the face. She's picked up there by Pascal. Now she's almost doubled up by 24 for Baldwinsville. That's Curtis. Gets it back up here to 24. That's Messina. Gets it over here to Trinisky. Trinisky over here to Africa, down to Alberici. They're going to cycle it through. Gets it over on the backside. Oh, who's 15? Help me out. That's Duffy. First time I've called her now. Brenna name. Duffy. Yep, Brenna Duffy. Duffy the feeder. She's got 36 assists on the, on the year. 1906 left first half. CNS just content to cycle it through. They're following their, clo their coach, Lloyd Hamilton's uh, blueprint to the T. Gets it back there on the far side. I believe that's Messina. Messina gets it back there to Brenna Duffy. Brenna Duffy. Yeah, Duffy looking to feed. She's yeah, being pestered Brenna. there. Oh, that's a tough Manili. pass. Shot scored. Gets Manili. So quickly, we've got 2 0 CNS after a nice pass by Duffy. I believe found Manili right on the doorstep. And there's the goal. So with 18 45 left in the first half, it's 2 0 Baldwinsville. And it looks like Coach Megan Collins is going to call a quick timeout, folks. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back with 18.45 left in the first half, 2 nothing CNS. Uh, a smart timeout, I'd say, Mike, by uh, first-year coach Megan Collins uh, for Baldwinsville. She didn't like how things were looking there. Two easy goals uh, right on the doorstep. Not much our goalie, uh, Julia George, could do on those. So a good timeout by Collins. She's done a great job with this program in her first year, Mike. So we're at the face-off X, uh, draw face, whatever we call it here. I know in... in uh, yeah. yeah in, in boys lacrosse, we call it at the X. In our world, exactly. We are foreigners here, folks, so bear with us. So They're truly athletes, so these girls. Oh, you're not kidding. I'll tell you what. I'd love for them to slap some helmets on them, put some elbow pads, and let them go to work. I'm yeah, telling you, these girls are athletes. It's so here we go. It's ball. That's what's scary. Yeah, you're right. Why they're not wearing helmets is beyond me. You're right. I agree with you. So that's number 24. That's Messina with CNS on a fast break situation. She's picked up there by number five. That's uh, Henwood. She gets it over there to the left side, gets over to the far side there. That might be Scarlotta, number six, or it might be Duffy. Can't see Duffy. really. Is it Duffy, number 15? Yep. Brandon sure. Duffy. Yep. yep. She's cycling through with the left hand. She's being picked up down there. Looks like by Paige Smith. Smitty, good job on the D. Yep. Gets it over there to up top. Can't get a number four. That's Messina. Yep, Messina. Looks like they're trying to shut off uh, Manili there. Gets it back off here to, it looks like that might, that might be Scarlotta. Looking to go to work. Nope, that's Alberici. Yep, Alberici gets it off here to Trinisky. Or is it, Ma nope, you're right, it's Neely. Manili, yep. Gets it over here. Oh, this is a, boy, this is a gutty little rugger. Look at her move. Number three can't handle it. Yep, oh, she took one in the head. She's okay, yep, Pascal's got it. She's in the 50, the 45, the 40. Rocking it in the left hand, walks the dog past midfield. Comes in, not picked up yet. Running in, she's got a trail check coming. That's Trinisky. Keeps across the right. Oh, now there's a back check to Messini, but there's gonna be a whistle, yep. Looks like it was, uh, I don't know, uncontrolled stick. We'll call it that, Mike. What do you think? In the head. In the head? Yeah. Sure. Sounds good, Joe. 1726, first now, half. Now this is interesting. She's got, like, all the way. Yep. She She's going to pass it, it out here. Yep. She's that's going to take it right in. Yep. That's Chiz in the game. Gets it over here to Lanier. Lanier's going to cycle it back to Fleming over to Goodwin. Goodwin raises her hand. Looks like she's going to try and make a move. She does left hand quick. Look, boy, she's quick. Nice left hand on the rock. Not there. Looking for a double team. Yep. She drew two double team CNS. Now beats him. Shot. Oh, great save by Gilbert. Backed up there by Baldwinsville. Still going to be Beville ball with 16.57 left. First half. Great move by Goodwin. Looks like it's going to be Fleming back there. She's going to be picked up there by number 21. Got to get a name on her. No clue. 
I don't even see her. Isabella Orlando. Is it Orlando? Okay, so Orlando's on Fleming. That's going to be Lanier, going to rock it out here to Pascal. Pascal, long pass over there. Looks like she finds, that's Henwood. Henwood, yep. Gets over there to Johnson. Back down to Goodwin. This is where you want to go. I think Goodwin's going to go to work here. Nope, passes it off to Fleming. Two juniors passing it off to the senior Lanier. Lanier's going to cycle with the right hand, gets it up top here. That's going to be Johnson. Johnson cradling, looking, just a ninth grader, looking to go. Makes a move, gets a nice poke check there. That's a big girl on her, number 24, that's Messina. It's a bit of, oh, there's a cutter. Henwood, not there. Goodwin looked at her, but didn't see her there, folks, with 16.06 left, first half. That's going to be Fleming looking to cycle through on the CNS player. She's looking for a cutter. Not there, not there. There's the pass, tough one, shot. Ooh, just wide, Pascal. Ooh, nifty, nifty pass there by Fleming. Found Pascal on the doorstep. Great catch by uh, Katie. Katie, a great basketball player in her own right. She's before I've been calling her Katie the whole game. Let me make sure I got the right name for her. I am right. Good. I don't want to. I don't want to upset. I don't want to upset the family. I'm gonna call her Katie. Feel like I know her. Gonna go with 15:31 left, Mike. You hit it again, didn't you? Oh, there's a shot. Oh, she gets pummeled. Oh, Fleming took it in there just off the crease, met by a host of CNS North Stars. Going to be backed up by Ballmans, though. This is going to be Pelcher. Check that. It's going to be uh, Goodwin. Goodwin looking to go. Let's see if she can get her in the vortex. She's being picked up there by Messina. Waving them off. Yep, waves them off. Oh, Drops the ball. Yep, we got a loose ball in the middle. We got a scrum. Fighting for the ball. That's Henwood in there. She's got her nose in it. Again with CNS. Ball still up in the air. Looks like it's going to be turnover. Going to get into. Oh, picked up by Chiz. Great job. Yeah, Foley gave her a good whack. Gets it inside here. This might be a shot. Inside move by Johnson. Oh, inside out roll. Continue, yeah. yeah, boy, I'll tell you what, she's got quick feet on her. That's going to be Fleming in the back, rocking the black gloves. Can spot her a mile away. She's looking to get her into the vortex. There nice cut. Looks at it. Backhand shot. Oh, uh, save. Goal. Gilbert. Goal. Yeah, Lauren Gilbert. Fantastic save again. I got I to gotta show her some love. She's a senior. Great job by Lauren Gilbert. Three great saves in the first half with 14.26 left. Baldwinzel putting on intense heat. So it looks like Gilbert's looking to walk it up. We got a lot of action going on. Yeah, yeah, we got a scrum here in the middle looking to break free. It's kind of a different way they ride around here, isn't it? Look at it. So anyways, folks, we got 14 minutes left. Gilbert content to stand there at about the 15 yard line looking for a cutter. I don't know, do you get a delay a game or? Nope, there she goes. She's gonna find her right there. Boom, hits her. That's gonna be number 13. That's gonna be Trinisky. She's gonna be picked up there by Fleming. trinisky has got a good set of wheels on her. Ooh, gets free, left hand cradle looking all the way down. She gonna get a shot going, off? Yeah. Nope, nope, she loses it. Out. Yep, gonna be back there, picked up there by number six. I believe that's gonna be Scarlata. Yep, I think that is Scarlata on the far side down there. You betcha it is. Gets it back over there. Now that's uh, Duffy. Gets it over here to Alberici. Alberici looking Africa's way, but not gonna go there. Gonna go back over to Duffy with 13.33 left, first half. Good defensive battle, two nothing CNS. A Little bit different than the offensive showing in the first meeting between the two, which was won by CNS, 14.7. Bevo looking for a little bit of a revenge, also looking for a better seating in sectionals coming up. Gets it back down there, Duffy, Duffy looking for cutters, CNS just content. Now here looking to go one-on-one -on -one situation, ball down. That was going to be a Something. penalty on 24 there, that was going to be on... Uh, start behind him. Yeah, Curtis, I don't know about it, but here you go, rushes in, shot, score. Not much Bevo can do on that. It looked like Curtis was a little bit aggressive, Mike, I guess, on that, yeah, calling a whistle there from, the yeah, you know, second-year coach Ronnie Mund calls it a uh, interference or push or something that didn't look right in his eyes. Gives uh, CNS a quick shot, and just like that, with 12.58 left, it's 3-0 CNS. It's hard. To, it's a fast break that's uh, can, yeah, can, yeah. Uh, troll. It's, a, it's like a makeshift fast break. But why we have a minute, folks? Stally, I want to congratulate you as a father here. I was talking to you before the start of the game here. Your son, Evan, who I believe goes to Wilkes, Wilkes College, uh, he's a first-year kid, freshman, plays on the lacrosse team as a FOGO. Uh, I believe he made first-team all-conference as a FOGO, Mike. Yes, he did. Fantastic. And more importantly, however, I believe his first two semesters there, Mike, he made Dean's List. That's so big shout out to Evan. Thank you. Yep. Kid's a stud. So anybody that wants to talk to this kid, I'm telling you, fantastic. Thanks Future job process. opportunities. Yep. Any of you ladies out there? Oh, I mean, yeah. this guy's, uh, you know, Evan's just uh, one of a kind. So with 12.58 left, it's 3-0 CNS uh, here on, again, a crisp, beautiful 
beautiful Tuesday evening. We're rocking about 70 degrees. Uh, I've got my shorts on, Stolly's rocking shorts. It's fantastic out here, I'm telling you. So again, CNS wins that face, folks. I believe that's their third draw that they've won in a row. So with 12.45 left, we've got uh, out back there, looks like that's Alberici going to get it to Duffy. Duffy's got one assist so far on the night, gets it back over there on the far side. I believe that's Scarlata. Ooh, Scarlata inside out, move on Curtis. Trips kind of on her feet. Oh, boy, there's a whistle and a, you know, I believe that penalty is one of the players didn't have their shoelaces tied. So it's going to be, uh, yep. yep, it's going to be, it Here looks like, yeah. Break. Here goes a fast break situation. So the pressure's on Julia George. George, our senior uh, goalie, has had a great career here in Beaver. Let's see if she can come up with something. They pass it up top here to number 21. Who the heck is 21? Uh, we called her name. Yeah, First we have. Orlando. Orlando, that's right. Oh, boy, nifty moves by Orlando. Gets it over here to Trinisky. Nice grab by her cross. Gets it back there to Africa. Quickly over there to Elberici. Cycles back to Duffy with 11.58 left, first half. She's picked up down there by Paige Smith. Ooh. Yep, it's Smith and Duffy. That's a great matchup. Senior on junior. There's a double. Oh, yeah, there's a double team right there. Great job by Paige. Good job, Smitty. Oh, we got a scrum again. Ooh, somebody oh, gets shoved. Yeah, Curtis ends up on the carpet. It's going to look like it's probably going to be a loose ball push. I'm going to say it's got to be Baldwin's old ball, right? I would think. Yep. But everybody freezes and they stand there. It's, it's almost like a deer in the headlights. They all just stop, look. They talk about it, they debate it, the officials write something down. Okay, so she's got great. Let's go, let's see what kind of wheels she's got. Let's go, kiddo, with 11.22 left. Everybody's getting set here, and the clock continues to run, which is crazy. Gets it there to Curtis. Curtis, a little bit of a bounce pass off the turf to Smith. Smith cycles it back to George. Looks over here on the near side to Farnett. Farnett, the speedy senior, rocks it, puts it in her left hand. Now she's off and running. Gets it off to the 30, she's trying to pinch through, she does again. Really running through, great job by the senior captain, Natalie Farnett, she gets it down to the 20. Looks, dumps it off there, great job by to Sarah Goodman. Great job by Natalie Farnett, the Clarkson bound senior. Had a great conversation with her dad, Scott, in the last game. Um, Natalie, just a great all round kid. Gets the ball back here, we got 10.39 left, first half. Looks like, oh, Fleming's gonna get her in the Benji Vortex, thinks better of it. Backs it out. Gets it back over to the backside, possibly looking at Goodwin. Yep, gets it to Goodwin. Here we go. Goodwin's going to say, you want to go? Here we go. Inside out roll, not there. Still looking with the left hand. 3 nothing. CNS. CNS packing it in. Boy, I'll tell you what, they are trying to keep Goodwin in check, and they've done so, so far. This gets it off to Pelcher. Pelcher, great face dodge. Shot, bounce shot, just wide. Great move by the senior, Julia Pelcher. With 10.06 left, first half. Beville backs it up, so it's going to stay Baldwin's old ball. If you notice there, Mike, look how far, how packed in CNS is. Yep. They are tight in there. Well, I think, what again, do you got? they got to be on a oh, line. They, oh, they, they got to be, be okay. Somewhere. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you. Oh, Fleming, back, 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 looking, looking, not Good there. Defense. Yep, great defense. Gets Goodwin. it off to Goodwin. Goodwin looking to go. Picked up there by number 24. That's Messina. Nope. Nope. There's a cutter to Pascal. 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 Shot oh, high off. Fight. This is going to be a race to the sideline. Yeah, easily won by Fleming. That hit the pipe, Mike? Good. Fantastic. Oop, we got a whistle. It's on the line. Going to be Baldwinsville ball with 929 left. Who's down there for CNS? Number eight. I, I got to show her some love. Yeah, I didn't, haven't called her yet today. Number eight, Delaney Starr. Yep. Okay, Delaney. Delaney's got a tough task guarding Fleming tonight. So here we go. It's going to be Starr on Fleming. Inside out move. Fleming shot. Score! Fantastic! Oh, fantastic. Peyton Fleming says, I woke up in beast mode. Beats Delaney Starr on the near side. Gets a shot past Gilbert. And just like that, we got a 3-1 ball game with 9-10 left in the first half. Nice move by the junior, Peyton Fleming, rocking the black gloves. I'm sure her parents, I think that was her parents who jumped up and down down there. Fantastic job. Folks, by the way, we got a great crowd tonight. Fantastic crowd tonight. A good mix of CNS, Mike, here. Uh, a lot of Beville red and white. So, uh, you know, where else would you rather be on a Tuesday night? I'm telling you, where else would you rather be? It's beautiful out, again, rocking about 70 degrees. I might finish this up. I might go down to the Beville Diner and get a chocolate shake, Mike. Oh. I think, you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yep. I don't know, I might, Joe, what do you think? Maybe a little shake after the game? Lanier, Lanier. That sounds good to me, pal. I'm telling Monica you. Monica Lanier is uh, taking it for Beville this time. You know, there are some great places in Beville. You got the Sunshine Midi Mart out there in uh, 31. Yep. You know, if you want a shake, if you want to go out and get a good fish dinner, you got Atlantic Seafood right there. Yep. Fantastic. Stewart's in yeah, there. Stewart's out there as well. A lot of great places for a good shake. Can't beat it. You got Hickory Golf 
way up there a little bit. Oh, oh great job. That's going to be Chiz. We got a draw. Quickly gets it down here to Johnson. That's all right, Hannah. Hannah scoops it up. She's being pestered down there by two CNS players. She's got a good set of wheels. Just a ninth grader, folks. It's getting close to her bedtime. What do we got? I don't know what that is. Something spiking the ball. Yellow card. Ooh, that's going to be a yellow card on a CNS player. Okay. Oh, boy. I guess you can't do that in girls oh, lacrosse, that's huh? A, that's a big, that's a big no no. So that running off there is number nine. That's Jessica Foley, the aggressive uh, defender, just a junior. That's all right, Foley. You'll be back out there. That's all right. I like aggressiveness. That's all right. Gets over here to Goodwin. Goodwin looking to go. Gets it back over here to Fleming. Fleming rocking the right side. Eyes up, looking for cutters. Had Lanier cutting, not there. Now we had a second one go. Now we have, everybody's cutting. Here a cut, there a cut. Everywhere a cut, cut. Gets it out there. Oh, boy, had an ankle breaker there. Oh, she might have taken one right in the head there. Where's the flag? Shot, Fleming, not there. Yep, nice save by Gilbert. Picked, it. Yep, picked up there by uh, Goodwin. Goodwin cycling through with the left hand. Had several cutters there. There goes Henwood. Henwood, oh, shot, not there. Turn around, fired again. Oh, she tries to go through again. That's going to be a whistle. You betcha. We got a flag, a yellow. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That was like, uh, you know, that was like running with the bulls. This is hopefully a yeah. fast break. Yeah, this is like Bastille Day. Flags everywhere with 806 lever first half. Yeah, fire the shot. Let's score a goal here. Boom! Oh, great save by Gilbert. In the crease. Henwood took a shot. We got a whistle. Another yellow card. Now Henwood's going to go off. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Gary Delabate, the second year official. That's his second yellow card of the night. One for CNS. Now off goes Henwood. Foley went off, Mike. Jeez. They're all running. We're down to what? Four on four? So whose ball is it? It's going to be CNS's ball, and I believe it's going to be Messina there, number 24. Everybody's set. It's like chess pieces. And they're off and running. Pelcher's going to give her a run. Pelcher's got a good set of wheels herself. Inside out, moved by Messina. Keeps it in her left hand. She's picked up by two, two girls. Breaks through it. Now we got three Beeville players giving chase. Messina trying to run down. Now we got to pick up. Messina gets it down to the corner. That's Duffy. Duffy being picked up there by Paige Smith. Now it looks like it's going to be, looks like Curtis there, number 21, is going to be going, oh, 24. Check that. Oh, we got a ball down. Gets it back over there. Yeah, that's going to be uh, Manili. Gets it over here to Treninsky. Trinisky. 21's gets Isabella Orlando. Oh, that's right. Okay, gotcha. Gets it over to Duffy. Trips us up. Yeah, yeah she does every time. Uh-oh, looking to go. Duffy looking with the left hand. Looks like we got a shot. Oh, nice pass. Not there. Ball on the ground. Wow. Looks like that's going to be Smith. Paige Smith, great ground ball. That's a GB. Way to gobble it up there, Smitty. Gets it over here to Julia George. George going to bring it all the way over here to Farnett. Farnett had a fantastic run about four minutes ago with 6.57 left. Here she goes. Thinks better of it. High pass, not there. Right into the cross of Fleming. Fleming gets it to the 30. We got a fast break situation. I just lost Mike. Shot just wide. Oh, Fleming just can't find the cage with 6.42 left. Backed up by Ballinzall. CNS nursing a, uh, a two goal lead. Yeah. But I'm oh, telling you what, though, the, the shots have got about have got to be in Beevil's favor so far, at least two to one oh, yeah. uh, on the shots tonight. They just they've had good goaltending and they've had some lucky bounces. So, anyways, we got. It looks like we've got uh, Goody on this side looking, looking to go left side, trying to push through. Not there. Going to cycle through, get her on the vortex. Picks up there by number 25. I don't want to look down for a chance to miss it there. 25 though. First time I called her her number for CNS. Gets it over here to Fleming. So Beville's still man down in their full strength. Okay, so Beville is man down, running around, so that's why you're seeing a ball double here. Gets lady it. down. Yep, the... lady down. Thank you, great cover. Kid down. Oh, oh. there's a push on. The yep, one. push on CNS. Yep, it's gonna be, she looks like, she might. It looks like it's at least it's gonna be uh, Julia Pelcher here. Julia Pelcher, tippy toes in, left hand. Dumps oh, it, oh, just shot. misses. Backed up there by Fleming. Now we're oh, at all oh, even oh, strength. Oh. Yep, running in is Henwood. Henwood, oh, right in the middle. Shot scores. Oh, Henwood. Are you kidding me? Great job there by Maria Henwood. Henwood runs about 70 yards from the sideline. Fleming finds the cutting Henwood and buries it past Gilbert with 540 left. Makes it 3-2 Baldwinsville. Fantastic job by Henwood. Oh, Henwood says, uh, that was beautiful. So just like that, Beeville creeps back in it. Nobody picked up Henwood coming off the sidelines, demanding the ball, shoots and scores. We've got live action, folks. Great job by Henwood. I believe Henwood is just a junior herself. 
I could be wrong. I'm just throwing stuff out there. No, she is a junior. That's going to be her 19th goal of the year. Has 19 goals and one assist, so the kid's a sniper. She's just an absolute assassin. Not much for passing, but she's got 19 times she's ripped the nets. Good job, Maria. Again, another kid making her parents very proud tonight. Tell you what, Beaver, what a great place to live, huh, Joe? Telling you what. Monica Lanier. This is her Who's up? Face Monica Lanier. For, yeah, she didn't draw at all last game. She drew one before yeah. and won it. Let's go, Lanier. Good job. Oh, it dropped right into the cross at number five, Henwood. She couldn't hang on to it, so it goes back over there to um, Messina, CNS, CNS. Oh, she's getting right into a double here. She's. Oh, wait, we got a whistle and something. Whistle and I, yeah, hit her on the shoulder, a little too aggressive. That's all right, it's going to be CNS ball. Messina, long pass over here, number 13, Trenisky. Trenisky kind of picked up. See, they can't go yeah, the yeah, there's lines everywhere. Trenisky buries in. Oh, wow. Save George, point blank, <laughs> Julia George. New, new goalie for Bevo. Oh, who do we got? 99-99 is Molly Merriweather. Oh, Merriweather comes in. Good job, Molly. Molly Merriweather with her first save of the night, or at least the first time I've called her name. Great save at about the 4.58 mark. 3-2 CNS, crucial save. Gets it in the back there. That's going to be Alberici. He's going to cycle it over there to Duffy. Looks like we've got number 21 over there that's guarding her. I believe that's going to be, who's 21 for Beaver? That's Sweeney. We got Sweeney, Smith, and I believe we've got Curtis out there as well. So we've got a lot of action. We've got live action. Oh, dumps it over in the middle. That's Trinisky up under score. Not much she can do there. Nice cut goal. Pass from, it looks like it was from Manili to, uh, who's the other kid there? Trinisky maybe? Nope, Manili. Passed by somebody. It was great. Oh, Trinisky to McNeely. Makes it 4 2 CNS with 435 left in the first half. A nifty move there by uh, Trinisky. Is that who scored? Yeah. No, uh, no McNeely. McNeely scored. Oh. By Trinisky. Yeah. That's fabulous. That gives uh, Manili her 52nd goal of the game, or she got two tonight or yeah, one? Two, two tonight. So that makes her 53rd goal of the night yeah. for, uh, or for the year for Manili. Yeah, she's filling the stat sheet. Terrific job. CNS, an absolutely large school district out there. Great bunch of kids out there. A lot of good athletes. So this is a big test for Beeville here tonight. See if we can get a little bit of a revenge factor going. So here we go, faced in, looks like it's going to be, is that Lanier trying in yep. there again? Sure is. Good job, that's going to be Baldwinsville ball. Yep. Good job there, Lanier. Proud of you. I'm so proud of you, I'm going to call you by your first name. Where are you? Monica. Monica. Great job, Monica. Accessorizing very well, white socks, white cleats. Nope, no headband, but rocking a ponytail, gets it off to Fleming. Fleming rocking the, oh boy, that was an ankle breaker. I would have torn my ACL on that one. Nice move. We got another cutter, second cutter through, third, third cutter. And yeah, nope. yeah, nope, nope. She's still gonna look. Not there. Goodwin looking to get off. Gets it over there. Now she's got a break shot. Oh, Save Gilbert. Back, back to Fleming. Fleming looking. There's a cutter. Not oh. there. Henwood. Nice try. Gets it back off there. That's gonna be number 21 for CNS. She's being pounded there by Johnson. We got a whistle and a push, 21 for, uh, that's going to be Scarlata. No, check that. Orlando. Orlando. Jeez, that's the fifth time I've struggled with her. I got to go down and apologize to her parents, Mike. Who's that with the ball right there? Is that Scarlata? Orlando. Orlando's got it. Boy, whatever. That's awful. I am awful. I'm off par tonight, Joe, with 323 left first half. That's Duffy being picked up by Smitty. Smitty takes a shortcut. Picked up there now by Sweeney. Sweeney gives her a whack. Inside shot. Oh, deflected. Mayweather was all over that, though. Nice cut and score with 3.09 left. It's going to be uh, Alberici backing it up there, so she's got the ball. Alberici, uh, a senior. She gets her into the vortex, <laughs> picked up there aggressively. Somebody working her. Oh, Beville down. Working aggressively. we got a whistle. That's going to be on uh, Curtis. No, check that. 21. That's Sweeney, I believe. No. Yeah, Kayla Sweeney. That's all right, Kayla. Boy, I like her aggressiveness. Just angry. Alberici's yeah. She's playing with hatred. That's what I like to see. There's a shot, gonna be Elberici, not there. Thinks better of it. Gets it back over here to Duffy. Here we go, everybody's cutting. Ooh, almost had her there. Merriweather's got her stick up. Picked up, yeah, she sure is, yep. There's a shot, oh, shot score, Trinisky. Duffy to Trinisky at the 227 mark of the first half. Fantastic cut by Trinisky. Um, and Duffy does what she's been doing since she was eight months old. And she found her at the doorstep and uh, gave her the assist. That's gonna be, uh, <laughs> It, what is that? Her second assist second in the night. Assist. Yep, so that gives her 38 on the year, folks, at the 227 mark. 5-2 Baldwinsville. 
um, on a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday evening here, folks. Great evening for lacrosse. As we get, we're, we're amping up into some big time play here, Mike, coming up. We're talking middle of May, okay? This is when it just lacrosse takes over here in central New York. It really does. This is the time where you get to watch it. College playoffs are going on right now. We're rocking into, into high school sectional play. This is when the cream of the crop rises and you're looking at two top teams in upstate New York. So uh, a lot of fun, glad to be here. This is my, just my second game, Mike. I have no clue what I'm talking about half the time, but I'm having fun with it, you know? What can I tell you, Joe? Thanks for having me. Thanks for inviting me, You're buddy. Welcome. And anybody with complaints about me can thank Joe. Cause, uh, <laughs> so let's see, we got 227, a long time here. A lot of talking, a lot of time in between here. Gets kind of quiet. It's kind of like a wine and cheese crowd right now. Folks just sipping on a Merlot, hanging out. It's a very, very Napa Valley vibe right here. On the overhead speaker there, that's John Goodwin. Goody keeps me in check all the time. Goody, another Baldwinsville uh, graduate. Okay, folks, here we go. Looks like we got Monica Lanier out there with uh, Manili. We'll see who can win this. Lanier's had some good luck. She's won, I think, two of the last three. Let's see how she does here. Probably jinxed her, Mike. Wouldn't doubt it. We got some movement in the CNS defensive end. Yeah, let's get it in there. Come on there, Mund. There's the whistle. There we go. Oh, Lanier takes it. Come on, come up with it, kid. Digs in. Yep, that's going to be a ground ball. Hoovers it. Pascal. Yep, Pascal. Long pass down. Finds a go. Oh, great pass by Goodwin. Shot. Oh, my God. Save Gilbert. Gilbert's been, oh, yeah. She's been El Fuego. Absolutely El Fuego. Lauren Gilbert, the senior has basically kept CNS in this game, kept the lead at three goals with two minutes left. We got a ball down, we got bodies down, we got a ball out of bounds, gonna be a whistle, they're gonna call it over, back over to, boy, Megan Collins wants the call. I'm with you, coach. They gotta go get the ball, they don't have an extra ball on the sideline with 155 left, 5-2 CNS. We gotta find another ball. Let's go, where's our ball girls? I mean, we got a host of them around here, girls getting ready to go. Yeah. That's a long run. Okay, I guess they only have one ball out there, folks. Well, it is budget time. They are voting on the budget tonight. So, yeah, yeah, 5-2, CNS. There we go, now we're back in play with the only ball that we have here in the, on the field here. That's a long run. Who is that, is that Johnson? It looks like a Johnson running. I'm gonna say it is. I could be wrong, gets it over here. I know that's a good win. I'm going to say that's Johnson. You betcha it is. Come on, Hannah. Let's get her into the vortex here. She's being guarded by number 21. That's Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> we got it right, Mike. Isabella. Yeah, Isabella Orlando. Great name. Yeah, great name. Yep. 126 left. 5-2 CNS. We got Goodwin here. Let's see if Goodwin can get off here before the end of the first half. Come on, Goody. Let's go. Rocks it. Tippy toes on the inside. Takes her inside out. She's being pestered there by Foley. Foley, an aggressive defensive player. She's been all over Goodwin tonight. Goodwin with some great passes, though. We got cutters all over the place. Boy, I'd just like to wahoo one right there, wouldn't you, Mike? Just rip one, but they can't. It's a girls game. Yep, Henwood was open. Goody didn't like it. Going to get back over here to Fleming with uh, just under a minute left. Yeah, they might be holding it. Gets it back up top here to Lanier. Lanier finds Pascal. Pascal's going to sweep right. Takes it hard. Not there, looks for a cutter, now he finds one. Ooh, Picked just up. up. Picked up by uh, number 11, that's Manili. Manili's got Scarlotta running, but she decides to cycle back. No, nice little move. Now moves, oh, inside out, spin dodge. Now a long pass down there to number 24, that's Messina. Yep, Messina gets it in the box with 30 seconds left. Gets it over here, oh, Africa in the middle, finds Trinisky, shot, score. Beautiful feed there by Olivia Africa, the senior attack, attack gal, attackman. Um, finds Trinisky on the doorstep, buries it at the 25 second mark, makes it 6-2 CNS. Boy, that was a great, great, I got to admit, that was a great turnover. Great ground ball, gets it over, finds, uh, finds Africa, and Africa buries, uh, finds Trinisky on the doorstop and bat buries it past of, uh, Mayweather. So not much Bevo can do on that one. But unfortunately, that pushes the uh, CNS lead to four goals, Mike. So. Uh, We've got uh, 25 seconds left, 6-2 Baldwinsville, or check that, CNS. CNS is up by four. Um, we've got Lanier against Manili at the face. The key here is they gotta win the face off, they gotta go in, they gotta attack right away. They got plenty of time if they can get the face right. If they can get the face cleanly, or the draw cleanly, or whatever they call it, the draw. they've got a chance here to, uh, to, to get a quick, fast break. The key is getting the draw, pushes into the favorite bombs, oh, but right into the cross of Messina. Messina, on the other hand, has a chance for a fast break. Cycles it back there to number six, that's gonna be Scarlata. 
Scarlotta, we got 15 seconds left. She's looking to go. She's got popped Curtis out. on her. Popped out again. Yeah, popped out, picked up oh. by Curtis. Oh, oh. Chris, are you kidding? All right. We've got nine seconds left. That's going to be uh, CNS ball. Long pass over here to Trinisky. Trinisky puts him in the middle. She's got a shot. She gets tackled. There's a whistle oh. with 4.9 seconds left. I don't know. Is it a free shot from there? Yep. Boy, oh, boy. Might as well just hand the ball over. No, with, back yep. Okay. You got it. Direct, so they're at the eight meter, eight yard line, something, but it's going to be a direct one. Okay, let's see, Molly. Let's see what you got here, folks. We got 4.9 seconds Look at that. left. Look at that. Yep. We, we've got CNS right player in. looking to take the shot. I can't see who it is Trinisky. from here. It's Trinisky taking the shot. Trinisky looking to shoot, bounce shot, Good. score. With 3.1 seconds left, that score, that, I believe that might be Trinisky's third goal. Yeah, that's Megan Trinisky, the junior, with her third goal, gives her 30 goals on, on the year, along with seven assists. So she's got 37 points. Just a junior makes it 7-2 CNS with 3.1 seconds left. Not much you're really going to see happen here after the draw, folks. It's going to be tough for either team. Actually, neither team's going to get a shot off here, folks. So uh, it looks like going into halftime, it's going to be CNS with a five-goal lead uh, on your Baldwinsville Lady Bees. So, uh, but on the bright side, Lanier has done a good job at the face. I can't tell if that's her or Pascal yes, out it there. Is. It is Lanier. Mm -hmm. So Lanier, yeah, Monica Lanier. Nice job, Monica. I'm going to throw you some hot sauce here. Nice job. Well done. She's going against Manili. manili has been the steady here. So there's the face. And we got a loose ball on the ground, battled there by Pascal. But folks, just like I predicted, we go into the halftime, 7-2, uh, CNS leading. Um, both teams are going to go talk about it. Coach Hamilton and Coach uh, Collins are going to go to their separate corners. They're going to talk about things, folks. We're going to take a quick break here, folks. Mike's going to give you some uh, first half stats when we come back. But uh, get to the fridge, get to the, to the restroom, come on back and watch the second half with us, folks. We'll be right back. Oh yeah, watching a little action here. Some of the youngins going at it. Have no clue who they are, but boy, I'll tell you what, we got some mighty mites out there going for it. They're all Baldwinsville. Yeah, they're all Baldwinsville, so they're, they're all winning. Yeah, look at that little number 22 out there running. All of them rocking future ponytails. So here she comes, running down. Don't have a number on them. Looking good. Got a lot of cameras flashing. A lot of Oh, sniper got somebody. She's down. She's okay though. She's back up. Going the right way. Here comes the other one. She's at about the 30-yard line. Got some pink shoes out there. Yep. Got some blue shoes. We got, got fantastic some... accessorizing, Mike. Yep. Yep. I see a nice helmet out oh, there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Nobody around her. She's at the 45, the 40. Oh, she's yep. She's getting a little slower. Oh. Nope. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. go for it. Go. Oh, yeah. Da -da -da -da. Yep. Here we go. We're going to have a shot on goal, folks. Shot right. score! Beautiful shot. Number 11 in the program, number one in your heart. Fantastic. What do they got? I'm ready, folks, and we're back uh, for a fresh second half here with 25 minutes on the uh, clock with CNS leading 7-2. to two. Uh, We had a great treat at halftime watching some of the Baldwinsville Youth Lacrosse ladies running around back and forth. Uh, it was fun to watch the, uh, the enthusiasm and, uh, and the play. So uh, now we got the big girls playing, folks, and we got a quick check by Henwood. Henwood, uh, CNS won the face. Uh, looks like that, that one it was uh, Trinisky who's had a fabulous first half. I believe she had three goals on the night already. Uh, gets it up top here to Messina. Messina's being hounded by Fleming. Gets it all the way to the back there. That's going to be number nine. That's Foley. Foley's trying to leg it out on the far side. Picked up there by, ooh, inside out move. Great move. There by Foley. Passes it down there in the corner. Gets it over there to number one, that's Al Marici. Marici here to the near side, gonna get it over here to number six. I believe that might be Scarlata. You betcha it is. Where's the ball? Way over there, there to Africa. Gets it back down there to, uh, that's Duffy. Duffy, again, the, uh, the leader in CNS on assists. Again, looking for cutters all over there. Goes Manili. Uh, but no, it looks like it's gonna be Duffy looking to take it on herself. She's got 13 goals on the year. Inside out shot, score. You betcha it is, yep. With 23.55 left in the first or the second half, that pushes a lead now to six goals, 8-2 CNS on a nifty, isolated, one-on-one, -on -one, unassisted goal by Duffy. Duffy, who's usually the feeder for CNS, scores her 14th goal on the season. 
So Brenna Duffy, uh, a junior, uh, again, pushes it, uh, the CNS's lead to 8-2. So not the way you want to see Baldwinsville come out, Joe, here in the second half. Uh, and it all starts here at the, uh, the face-off circle, the draw circle, whatever the girls call it. I'm going to call it the face-off X. But it looks like it might be Lanier in there going to be battling Manili. Manili's kind of had her way all game. Um, Monica Lanier, Lanier tries to get it there and gets right into the cross. Oh, she gets whacked there by Messina. It's going to be a uh, good job, Katie Pascal. Katie, again, a youngin. Kind of find her on here. I don't even see her on the roster, Katie. I apologize. Oh, but she got just got pushed. It's going to be on, uh, looks like that's going to be on number Trinisky, number 13. Yep, it was on Trinisky at 23-27 left. So Pascal takes off running hard, gets it down on the right side. It's going to look like cycles it back there to Goodwin. Goodwin's going to start looking for some cutters. Mullins has got to get some offense here. And it starts with Goodwin. Inside out move, Goody, left hand, looking for a shot. Can't find it, gets checked out of there. Great check by 21 there. I believe that's Orlando. Oh, she just takes a big push there. Down goes Beville. Who is that? I believe that's uh, on the far side. That's going to be Pelcher. Pelcher looking to go welcome back, Mike. Glad you made it. Good to have Mike back. I'm going to give you a minute to compose yourself. We got 22.50 left second half. Let me tell you something, folks. Mike Stolly Stoliker just doing yeoman's work, coming in here, not feeling well, battling through, helping me out immensely up here, Mike. Glad to have you back. I'm going to give you a minute to catch your breath. Gets it over here to Johnson. Johnson gets it down here to the corner to Goodwin. Goodwin finds a cutting shot. Ooh, great save by Gilbert. That was Henwood on the shot after it was fed there by Fleming. So Gilbert having a great second half. You know, Joe Lafredo and I were talking at halftime about the play of Gilbert, the senior CNS goaltender, Mike. She's, she's yeah, She has been on fire. Yep, right now she's easily, I'd have to say, either it's going to be her or Trinisky is going to be my, uh, my MVP so far uh, of the game with 22 minutes left in the second half. She's the 8-6 to six game. Yeah. She isn't stopping one. She's stopping maybe even eight, seven. I, I got to agree with you there. There's a long bounce pass ahead there. Looks like it's going to be to Duffy, but battling over there. Looks like it's Henwood. Looks like that's Smith over there. Coming off Smith. Yep. Nope. Right off. Yep. Ball. Beautiful. Beville ball. It's going to be Paige Smith, the senior captain, number 23. Looks, gets it back up top here to Pascal. Long pass ahead. That's going to be Fleming. Fleming on a break situation. She's got Pelcher on her right. Puts in her left hand cross. Doesn't give it up, looks to make the move. One on one, one on three, gets it over here to Goodwin. Goodwin's got her in the vortex. Goodwin looking to go. Yep, looking for cutters. 21, 24 left, second half. Goodwin again looking to double. Not there, had Pascal cutting. Goodwin not finding her tonight. Gets it in there, looks like Lanier wants to go. Not there, cycles it back up top. Gets it over here, looks like Pelcher's gonna try and split the defense, does. Ball down, picked up there, looks like by Orlando. Orlando in her cross being hounded there by Johnson. Orlando rocking the black gloves. There's a yep, there's a check and a foul. That's gonna be a whistle. Looks like it's gonna be on number six out there, Lanier. Also over there is Fleming, and then in behind her is Johnson. Gets the ball back to Gilbert, the senior goalie for CNS. Long pass by the North Star. Finds Trinisky's cross. Passes midfield. She's being pestered by Pascal. Trinisky's got three goals on the night. Leads ahead, looking to dump it off. Picked up by Farnett. Nice defense. Great pass inside. Shot score. Trinisky drew about three Bowensville defenders. Dumps it off and finds number six. I believe that's going to be Scarlata for her second goal of the night. You betcha. McKenna Scarlata, her third goal of the night, giving her 13 on the season. The junior attackman gets a beautiful feel. Gets a, gets a beautiful pass um, by Trinisky. Trinisky now, I believe, is 3-1. Makes it 9-2. CNS up seven goals with 20-34 left in the second quarter. So you might see a quick timeout here. Things got awful quiet here in a hurry here, Mike. I'm, I'm barely talking above a whisper. I don't want to get any parents upset here. We're keeping it quiet, keeping it safe. We've got 20-34 left, second half. Come on, Beville, it starts with the face. We're looking to get, uh, and I'll tell you what, so far tonight, uh, Beville draw, defense, yeah. yeah, the draws hurt us, and also the defense CNS Foley has done on Goodwin tonight um, has really helped. But the goaltending has been spectacular. There's a face, looks like it's going to get into Manili's uh, cross. Nice dump off pass over there, looks like that's going to be, ooh, gets it back over here to Manili. 
Trying to get it past one more, not there. Going to back it out there, gets it back to Foley. Foley cycles it over to the far side. Long pass ahead. That's going to be Trinisky. Yep, finds Messina. Messina on the fast break. Another pass on the doorstep. Nice defense. That's Alberici in the washing machine. She's being pestered by two CNS players. One of them, Emma Foote, first time I called her tonight. Number 20. Good job, Footy. That's great defense down there by the uh, the Ballins. I believe she's just a sophomore there. I'm trying to find her. La find her on my uh, yeah number 20. There she is. Yeah, she's only a yeah she's just a sophomore. Emma Foot out there pestering for today, trying to try something def on defense. Looks like that was Curtis pestering uh, Messina up top there. Now it's far side. That's Africa. Gets it all the way over there to Duffy. Duffy cycles it all the way back out to Trinisky. Trinisky gets it back over to Africa with 19:30 left second half. Baldwin's looking for some sort of spark here, folks. Let's see if it starts on the defensive end. Maybe a nice big save down there. Who do we got in goal, Mike? Can you see? Is that Julia George or is that Mayweather? George. So we got George starting the second half in goal. So let's see if we can get a spark possible. Right on the doorstep shot. Save. There it is. Right there. I just slapped you on the arm, Mike. Mike, that's a wonderful save there by Julia George, the senior. Yeah, that's right. Sorry about that, Joe. Gets it over here, number 20, 32, Farnett. Farnett. Farnett finds Sweeney. Sweeney's going to rock up the right side. Good set of wheels on her. Gets past Trinisky. Now she's got a host of CNS players coming toward her. Gets it down here to Goodwin. Gal quick dump pass right there to Johnson. Johnson nice inside out move. move. Looks to get free oh, shot. Lost it to the goalie. Just lost it to the goalie at the last minute. Nice move by Hannah Johnson. I saw Johnson working that play this, uh, this past Sunday all by herself out here in the middle of the field, Mike. She was out here practicing. It looked like something out of a Dick's commercial. She was out here with just a bucket of balls, her stick, and just her attitude. Great job, Hannah Johnson, out here, just a ninth grader, out here by herself on a Sunday with 18-18 uh, left, second half. I myself was just trying to find anywhere to stay out of home because I had a huge honeydew list. I wanted no part of it, Mike. I had to mow the lawn. I had that going on. I had to get the grill ready for the summer. I says, you know what, I'll be back. I took a ride. Gets it over here to the far side. That's a long pass over there by Scarlata. Finds Duffy. Duffy cycles it out here to Alberici or possibly Africa. I think that's Africa. Africa's kind of found a home out there. Yep, that's Olivia Africa. Gets it out here. Now there's Alberici with a cutter. Look for Messina. Not there. That's got to be a ground ball that we get, and we do. Spinning out of there. Speed. Oh, we got a whistle, a little shot on the head. That stops everybody. See, I don't understand that. that yeah. You would think she made it through there. I agree. Exactly, Joe. That, be that was a great job by Kayla Sweeney, though, another senior. Because you, you hurt the offensive exactly. team in that You case. sure do. I, I couldn't agree more, fellas. Yep, with 17.27 left, second half. It looks like it's going to be back there at the X. It's going to be Fleming. Fleming gets it over to Goodwin. Goodwin going to try the far side. Gets it out to Lanier. Lanier dumps it back up here to Chiz. Maddie Chiz, first time I called her in the second half. Long pass over there. Gets it over here to number three, Hannah Johnson. Johnson gets it back over here to Goodwin. CNS content to stay inside kind of a packed zone with 17.03 left. 9-2, CNS. Second half. Here goes Chiz. Chiz looking to go for cutters. Not there. Footy. Emma Foote was cutting through there. Not there. Gets it back over here to Goodwin. Goodwin looking to go. She's got Foley on her. Looking to spin. Good defense by Foley all over it. Inside out shot. Not there. Going to be a whistle. Going to be around the head. So it looks like it might be a free shot from about the 8 meter or 8 yard mark. That's Goodwin. They call it. Direct 8 meter. Yep. Direct 8 meter. So we got 16.33 left, folks. Let's see if uh, Goodwin can get a shot off here, folks. Here we go, we got a bounce shot, boom, bounce, score. Boy, did we need that, and Sarah Goodwin delivered at the 16-26 mark. Buries an unassisted goal behind uh, goaltender Lauren Gilbert. Makes it, whoop, we got a little light for you. Makes it 9-3 CNS. Oh, we got a little bit of a light show here, wow. That's a little bit of a bedazzle. I love it. That's what you can do with new lights. Yeah, this is what you can do with new lights. A little LED show we got going on, Joe. That's I love gonna it. That's going to be neat during football season. I'm sure Carl will love that. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Yeah, that's right. You know, well, Carl is all about the show, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, three yards and a cloud of dust, baby. Him and, him and Penn State would have been a yep. fantastic fit. Contact and intensity. The Carl Sam Flip away. Carl Sam Flip we're talking about, coach, the long, of course, is the long all time. All the love in the world. Yep, all, long time Ballinsville coach. Fantastic coach. Basically put Ballinsville football on the map here in, in New York State. So just throwing some love his way. Uh, again, probably wouldn't appreciate so much of the light show. He probably wouldn't even notice it, quite honestly. So here we go, folks. You betcha. You got it. CNS catches the face. That's going to be an yep. impediment. Yep. 
Whatever. Yep, we'll call it an impediment. I like that. It sounds official, Mike. It's an impediment. Yep. You know it's good for you know what bran is very good for an impediment, Mike. That's right. You realize that? Seven of them. Yeah. You got to have more fiber in your diet. That'll help an impediment any day of the week. Gets it out here to Trinisky. I just lost Mike. We got Trinisky on a break, picked up there by Pascal, right side, looking for the bounce shot. Not there. Great steal. Here we go. Kayla goes the other way. Sweeney gets it up ahead. Here's a little bit of a rally. Gets it over here to Goodwin. Sarah Goodwin. Rocking no headband. Number nine, lefty, looking in, trying to get a pass. Now she breaks in. Oh, great check. Loose ball. We got a whistle, though. Yep. We got a check at the 1538. Mark of the second half, 9-3. She's going to have another direct 8 meter. No? Yep. Nope. Is she going to direct one? A little further out. A little further out? See, that's when you just want to wahoo it right here, the boys game. Are you kidding me? Put so one. That, yep. that one defense will get an angle on her. Yep, you're right. Dumps it off here. Oh, nice pass to Henwood. Henwood got hit. No call, though. She goes down. Her cross goes for flying. Saved by Gilbert. CNS crowd is happy with that. 15-12 left, 9-3 CNS. Gilbert's going to walk it up. Got a lot of cutters out there. Who is that cutting? Yep, finds, uh, that's Africa. Yep, yep, the gutty little rugger. She drives, rocks the left hand. She's going to run out of real estate. Oop, that's going to be a whistle to put. Oh, no, out of bounds. Oh, wait, is that, a, is that on us or them? I don't know. Everybody's standing around to see what the deal is. Whose ball is it? Oh, we got a not happy call. 14-42 left, running play. It's going to be ball and ball. We got a fast break situation. Oh, she just took a check in the ribs, but gets right through it. There goes, she walks the dog. That's Sarah Goodwin. Gets it into the offensive end for Baldwinsville. It was a turnover on CNS. That was gonna be on uh, Africa there. She turns the ball over. Now we're back on Baldwinsville's side with, uh, looks like Henwood up top. Cycles it over here to Pascal. Pascal long pass over to Lanier. Lanier's probably gonna cycle it back. Nope, she's gonna go back the other way. Finds Chiz. Chiz looking to go. Looks like she's being picked up down there by number nine. That could be Foley up top there. No, that's not Foley. That's number eight there for uh, CNS. But anyways, that's Trinisky gets pit. Tries to go in. There's a whistle. Yep, that's going to be a cross check on Fleming. Looks like it's going to be the beneficiary of that. That was on number 11, McNeely, I believe it, with 13.49 left yep. in the so second half. Be, uh, so this will definitely be a shot here, right here. This is, looks like it's going to be Fleming looking to get off here. Here we go. We got a bounce shot. Oh, save better. Gilbert. Big save at the 13.37 mark. Yep. Yep. Kid's been a stone wall out there. The senior, Lauren Gilbert. Yeah, I, I would have to agree with you there. Fantastic save. Very athletic need goalie. To, need to go fake low and go high. What do you yes. think? What do you think the... Uh, how many saves? What do you think the over-under on that for her saves at 13 right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd yeah. say every bit of it, Joe. She's in double digits. Yeah, she's impressive. I'm telling you what. I'd like to know where she's going to go to school. Somebody's going to get a good goalie. She decides to play in college at the next level. Gets it back over there on the far side. No clue who this kid is, but she's got a good set of wheels. She's picked up by Henwood. Dumps it off to number 22. Great lacrosse number. Turnover going the other way. Who is this rocking the orange cleats? Madeline. Chiz. Madeline Chiz rocking some orange cleats. Comes down. This looks like it might be a shot. Thinks better of it. Gets it into Pascal. Pascal trying to go. Can't find it. Bottled up. Gets it here to Johnson. Oh, what do we got? We got a whistle and something. Oh, my gosh. So we got a whistle. It's going to, oh, this has got to be a shot Hannah right here, Johnson. right? Yeah, Hannah Johnson's looking to go. She's going to go left hand. Let's see if she practices on Sunday. Rocks in, comes in, oh, shot. Ooh, just knocked connected. out of her cross. Yep, gets it over here to Foley. Foley looking to reset. She's going to be whistled and fouled. That's going to be on Goodwin. Yep. We've got 12.25 left, second half. 9-3 CNS. CNS nursing a six-goal lead. Balvinsel trying to get it back into the scoring column after a goal there by... I can't even remember who scored for us. Who was it that scored that goal? Now we'll get back to it later. Manili on a fast break, though, picked up there by Farnett. Great defense by Farnett. Good job, Natalie. Natalie, the senior, stops Manili in her tracks. Goodwin finally scored. Yep, Goodwin finally found the back of the net. You got it. So now we got Duffy back there, going to cycle it over. That's going to be uh, Africa. Africa up top here to Trinisky. Trinisky looks like she's being guarded by, it's a zone kind of thing, but it looks like she's going to be pestered by Chiz when it gets to her. But now we're back over here on the near side. That's going to be number six. That's going to be Scarlata. Scarlata looks like she's looking at Alberici. Gets it up top here to Messina. Messina pestered by Farnett. Thinks better of it. Long past her Trinisky now to Africa. Gets it back over here to Duffy. Back up top there, I believe that's Trinisky. She's got three goals, one assist on the night, four points. Gets it to the backside there. That's going to be Alberici. Alberici looks to go picked up nicely by Kayla Sweeney. 
Nice job, Sweeney. Good pickup. Beevil extending out a little bit. This could get dangerous with cutters, but they've got to play a little aggressive with 11-11 left in the second half. That gets it over there. That's Scarlotta being pestered there now by 24. That's Curtis. Now we got Pascal. She's being pestered right there by Pascal. Pestering very hard on Manili. No Great defense. Nope. Oh, gets it down here to Elberici. Elberici trying to pull her way through. Can't do it. Picked up by Pascal. Also, Smith on her. Elberici cycles out, resettles. They can hold it for the rest of the game. Yes. 1042 left. I don't think they will, though, folks. I hope they don't with 1042 left. Oh, that would be the. Yeah, they are, they are chewing know. clock for sure, no doubt about it. Gets it down here to Duffy. Duffy looking to pass, does so, gets it back out here to Africa. Want to put some heat on her, Henwood's on her. Now it's out back there, down there, that's Chiz. She's got a tough assignment with Elberichi. Looks like we got a whistle. We got a whistle of some sort. Okay, must have been a hold on Pascal. So that's going to give her, award her a free shot. So Trinisky looking for her fourth goal tonight. It's going to be going up against George. Here we go, first shot, shot, score. So not much Bobbinsville can do, not much George can do on that as, uh, as Megan Trinitsky buries her fourth goal with 10.04 left in the second half, pushes the lead 10-3 Bowensville. Now we've got a seven goal lead here for the, the Lady North Stars. Um, so we gotta get something going here, Joe. Okay folks, so we're back after a long time out here where it was uh, wisely called by Megan Collins, the uh, Baldwinsville coach. Uh, we've got CNS leading 10-3 here with 10.04 left in the second half. Looks like it's probably going to be... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be... Do we got a, yeah, we got a draw going on here, folks, at, at, at midfield here. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I have no clue. I mean, there's just so many things that I don't understand about this wonderful sport. I really need to get to the library. I really need to, you know, look at a book or something. But anyways, there's the draw. It looks like we've got Henwood speeding in there, being battled in there by Foley. We got a whistle, and let's say it's going to be Baldwinsville Ball. He's pointing that way anyways, yeah. Yep, we've got 9.52 left, 10-3 Baldwinsville. Uh, it looks like it's going to be Baldwinsville possession. It's going to be Pascal up top here. Pascal's going to get it over here to uh, Johnson. Hannah Johnson uh, kept scoreless thus far, playing a great game, however. Gets it over here to number nine. That's Goodwin going to get it over there to Fleming. So let's see if Ballinsville is somebody. Oh, there's a nice move. Quick inside out. Fleming. Shot score. Fleming decides to take it on her own at the 9.30 mark of the second half. Makes it 10-4 Baldwin's, or check that, CNS on a nifty move by uh, Peyton Fleming. The... Uh, the five foot three inch junior uh, finds the back of the net, beats Gilbert on the far side. A great quick feet, caught the defenseman sl uh, sleeping. And Baldwinsville, if they can get a face here and get another quick score, we got ourselves a ball game. Uh, right now they're down by six, but let's see if they can get a quick one here. Uh, it all falls down to they got to get the face, Mike. Yep. yep. And it looks like they got Henwood in there trying up against there against uh, Manili. Um, Manili's kind of had her way that all night along here, so. For who? Oh, she got that wrong. Oh, for the face? I think I think Goody might have messed that one up. Uh, anyways, back out here. Oh, right into the cross there. Beautiful. Keep running with it. Who is that? Yeah, keep going, Maddie. Good job, Chiz. Oh, looks tough pass inside. It's got it back. She gets whacked right on the head there, folks, though. 918 left, 10-4. CNS is going to be Maddie Chiz there at about the 20-yard line. Gets a pass over there to Lanier. Lanier, methodical, gets it back up here to Chiz. Chiz is going to cycle it over here to Henwood. Henwood gets it over here to the near side, Johnson. Johnson looking to go, great stick skills. Left hand, nice pass inside, shot, yeah. score! Henwood, sting you very much off a nice nifty feed by Hannah Johnson. Makes it 10-5, makes it 10-5 CNS at the 8.57 mark. So Beville winning it at the face, coming down, two quick goals in less than a minute here to liven the, the crowd back up, folks. They just creep back into a five goal lead here, folks. So let's see what we can do. Uh, we've got Manili on the face, going to be going against Henwood again, I believe, or unless that's Lanier, I can't tell. I think it's Henwood. I think it might be Henwood, too. Your guess is as good as mine. We're going to take a look. Yep, you betcha. It's Maria Henwood. Thanks, Joe. Dynamite drop-in. 
Let's see if we let's see if they can win the face. It's straight up in the ground. She's on it. Yep, battling inside. It's gotta go in the crowd. Oh, we got a whistle. Oh boy, talk about a momentum killer. It's gonna be a CNS ball. Um, CNS, look for them to look like to, to take some clock off of this, folks. It's, it looks like it's gonna be Trinisky there at the uh, center. Could be Trinisky, could be yeah, it's Trinisky. You bet you. Ooh! That was a little bit of an offensive. No, that was, was Manili. Oh, Manili? A little bit of an brace. elbow. Yep, brace. yep, you're right. That's over there to Africa. She's being pestered there by Curtis. Far side, way over in Oswego County. Can't even tell who that is way Duffy. over there. That's Duffy. Yep, yep gets now it over here to Alberici. Yep, I got you. She's being pestered strongly by Sweeney. Alberici hasn't done much tonight. She's been great job by Kayla Sweeney, the senior defenseman. Nice job, Kayla. Throwing you some hot sauce on that. There's McNeely looking to go. We got a whistle and a foul. It's going to be before the shot. Nice save by George in there, but it's going to be, looks like she's going to get a shot. Yeah, come on, Julia. Let's get a save here. Let's see if we can get a save. It looks like it's going to be Katie Pascal on the far side along with Chiz. They're going to have to sprint and try and cut her off. Let's see if they can. Inside pass, shot, goal. Looks like it's going to be Manili to Elberici. Uh, unassisted goal from about the eight meter mark. Not much again Julia George can do. Those are just doorstop goals. Um, again, it's part of women's lacrosse, girls lacrosse. It's something you got to live with. You know, Mike, you and I are old school. Boys lacrosse, a little more physical, a little bit different rules. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It makes it the 750 mark. It makes it 11-5 CNS. Um, that's all right, still plenty of time to mount a little bit of a rally because you've got, you got Manili out there along with, I believe it might be Henwood again. Yep, I'll tell you what, Megan Collins has, tr has tried about four different girls at the X tonight, uh, at the face-off X, and uh, has had, uh, you know, uh, limited success, I'll say. But here we go again, Manili on the face, gonna be a whistle. Gonna, oh boy, back over to CNS. I'm not sure if I'm seeing it. I can't tell what just happened, but at 7.39 left, it's going to be CNS ball. Right yep, there. you bet you it is, boy. <laughs> that is a buzz kill. You get it over there. Manili gets a push by Chiz. It's going to be... Nope, nope, nope. I thought it was going to be. You're right, though. It's just a push. Manili way on the far side. She's being pestered by Fleming. Fleming kind of gives up on it, gets it out back there to Fleming. Looking to go, Beville kind of mixed up on the defensive end. Now they've got it set. Fleming comes back and picks up her player. That's going to be Alberici, who just scored her first goal of the night at 7:04 left here in the in the second half. So we got Fleming down there on the defensive end. Picks up, gets it now up top here. That's going to be number nine. That's going to be Foley. Gonna Foley's time. going to be pestered there by Chiz. You bet you. We've got the Princeton offense in effect here. They're going to try and chew some clock. Chiz putting some pressure on. Here comes Foley now, unassisted. Great defense, pushes her off. No whistle, great defense there by, I believe that's Sweeney again. Kayla Sweeney has had a fantastic night. Unless that is Natalie Farnett, it's Farnett. Good job, Natalie. The Natalie clad, Natalie gets it over here to Pascal. Pascal, what an athlete. Great one-handed catch in the cross. She's looking, cycles through with 625 left. Let's see if she can go one-on-one. -on -one. She's picked up there immediately by number 24, that's Messina. Now Beville resets, gets into their offense. That's going to be, looks like Lanier gets it up top here. It looks like that's Henwood. Check that Chiz. Yep, gets it down here to Henwood, now to Johnson. Johnson's going to cycle it back over to Goodwin. Goodwin's been quiet the second half other than the one goal. Looking to go the lefty. She's being pestered there by number nine. I believe that's Foley. Goodwin gets it up top. That's Johnson. Johnson looking to go. Gets her in the vortex. Not there. Gets it back off to Goodwin. Goodwin looking. Oh, got to cut her on the doorstep. Oh Didn't God. see her. Wide open. Oh, That's okay, Sarah. Out. Yeah, goalie came out to defend it. Twenty-seven. I'm not. Yeah, it could be another goalie. Yeah, yeah new goalie in the game. Caitlin Great Lippert. eyes, Mike. Caitlin Lippert. Caitlin That's Lippert. Who Goody said it was. Ah, uh, you or got it. A, uh, draw. He said the new goalie is uh, Lippert. Lippert. That's right. So we got a new goalie in there. Looks like Gilbert taking the time off. Gets it back over here. That's Johnson. Johnson looking to go at 5:25 left. Gets it off to Goodwin. It's 11:5 CNS. Gets it way over the far side, that's Fleming. Fleming being pestered there by number 24, that's Messina. Messina's got about four inches on her, probably about 10 pounds. Oh, great inside out move by Fleming. Looking to go, good recovery by Messina. Oh, Look at the pass, great defense by Messina. Scrub now with Fleming. Messina comes up with it, left hand rocking it. Looking to get ahead, not there, is gonna reset. Gets it back to the goalie, Lippert. Lippert gets it back to Messina. Messina's gotta be exhausted, but she's gonna push it. She's got to, she's an athlete. 
She gets up there. She's being picked up by Fleming. Going to recycle back. Gets it back over here. That's going to be Foley back to Lippert with 446 left. Balmazel down by six goals. Looking to mount a comeback. Lippert's going to walk it up. Taking her time. Nobody on the goalie. Yeah. No, they don't have any of that. Now it's to Foley here near the midfield line. Dumps it back off down there. Looks like Orlando. She's going to recover it in time. We got a fast break situation picked up there by Chiz. Orlando, nope. no, 23, who's 23? Boy, I was guessing it was Orlando. Nope, that's him. Anyways, yeah, we gotta get a name Marley on that. Mulchinoff, thank you. Mulchinoff. Mulchinoff, thank Marley you, good call. Mulchinoff. Gets it up top there, we had a fan just help us out. Fantastic, good proud of you. That's Mulchinoff. Gets it back inside there, that's number 11, that's Manili. Manili in the spin cycle, great move. Gets free, gets it off here to there's number 21, Orlando. there's Orlando. Rocking the, I should see her, she's got the black gloves on and pink headband, accessorizing wonderfully tonight. Yeah, I got those. Yep, gets it back over here, looks like Duffy's going to try and get Smith in the vortex. Thinks better of it, gets it out here, that's going to be uh, Africa. Yeah, they're killing clock with 3.39 left in the uh, second half. Being pestered out there, that's nice Farnett. Move. Yeah, nice move there by Africa, Farnett switches. That's a great, that's, that's an even yellow, better switch. It's a yellow line, I keep getting Yeah, what are they doing? that's an even better oh. switch. Uh-oh, Orlando, all oh, can't come up with it, now does. He's, she's going to get it out, ball down, not there, recycles, gets it back up top here to Manili. We got a whistle. We got a whistle and some stoppage of play. Your guess is as good as mine at 3.13 left here. Running clock. Running clock, 3.13 left, 11.6. There's a shot, score, Manili at the three minute mark. I, I assume that's an unassisted goal at the 306 mark, makes it 12-6 CNS. CNS pushes a lead, check that, 12-5, pushes a lead back up to seven. Um, and now time is becoming a factor here, folks. With a seven goal deficit with 306 left, uh, Megan Collins has got to uh, pull some sort of trick tricks out of her bag here. Um, she's gonna, st it all starts off at the face off, all, all starts at the draw. Um, that's your key right here, folks. And you should know, Mike, you watch enough of them with your son, Evan. Killer year. 309 of them. 309 face-offs for young Evan Stoliker playing for Wilkes College down there in PA. 309. Man, oh, man. So anyways, here we go, folks. 304 left. Oh, now we got to break. Oh, boy, she got whacked Henwood, twice. Yeah. Good job, Henwood. Way to run through that mess. So Henwood's, yeah, Henwood's. Yeah, Maria Henwood's got a fast break situation, Mike. She gets it down to the 40. She's got a good set of wheels on her. Looking, she's getting, Ooh, yeah, she's getting pushed out. Great long pass. Oh, intercepted. Yep, intercepted by, yep, Trinisky. Just, just out of the cross. I believe it was a cutting uh, Katie Pascal. Yep, it was. yep. Ooh, inside, that's Henwood and Pascal pestering. Nice inside out move there by number 24. That is 24, I believe. That's going to be Messina. Oh, nice. Great check. Oh, I guess not. That oh, was a good check. No, it was a. It looked like a good check. I mean, on the hands. yeah, I guess you can't be in that area, folks. With 2:21 left in the uh, second half. I don't even wear more, most of them don't wear gloves. Yeah, they don't. They just kind of get out there, put the glove and stick in their hands, say, "Let's go. I'm ready to play." Messina goes. She's being pestered by Henwood. Messina now doubled with Pascal and Henwood. Somebody's got to be open. Gets it over to the far side. That's Manili. Gets it over there to number 13. Yep, that's Trinisky now. So that was Messina to Manili to Trinisky. Now that's an inside out move right there. Not there. Looks like uh, Coach Hamilton is having them uh, run some clock here, folks, with a minute 49 left. It's gonna be CNS up by seven goals. Messina just standing there, no cutters. Here comes your double. Here comes your triple team, inside out. And now another whistle. I I'm assuming that maybe they can't have the stick near the face facial area, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's the sphere. Okay, I'll give you that. That gets it over to Trinisky. Trinisky cycles it over to the far Mulchinoff. side. That's going to be Mulchinoff. Mulchinoff dumps it off. Long pass out there. That's going to be, I believe that was, Trinisky. yeah, Trinisky. Going to run into a double. You're going to hear a whistle in any second. You bet you are. We've got a whistle, CNS ball. We've got a minute 22 left, 12-7 CNS. Manili with the ball, going to content to run it around. You can hear Hamilton all the way from here telling her what to do. Manili cycling through. No goal, gets it over to the corner. That's going to be Elba Ricci. She's being, he's being pestered, but she's being pestered by Sweeney. Sweeney gets it all the way out here, being guarded now. That's Messina guard, doing the guarding there. That's going to be Pelcher. Yep, Julia Pelcher. We're under a minute, folks. 
under a minute with 12.5 CNS. Looks like CNS is, is going to end up winning this one, folks. And it looks like they're going to expand their record to 12 and 4. They're going to go 5 and 3 in the CNYCL. Bowensville, unfortunately, is going to slip probably to 8 and 7 overall with a uh, uh, 3 and 5 in the uh, CNYCL with 36 seconds left here on the near side here. It looks like it's gonna be Henwood with the ball. She's gonna be penned in here uh, by about four CNS players. Uh, looks like she's gonna to look to cycle it back. She is, that's gonna be Sweeney. Sweeney's gonna dump it off here. I believe that's Farnett. Farnett gets it to number 24, Curtis. Curtis just took a whack on the head by McNeely. She's gonna run off. That's a yellow card with 28 seconds left. Something on the head. Yeah, she took a, yeah, I think it was, uh, Curtis took one on the noggin. So it's going to be Curtis looking to advance, looking try and probably get the head, get the ball head to uh, to maybe maybe Pelcher, maybe farther out there. Yep, going to get it out here to Pascal. Pascal with 25 seconds left, pushes the action, gets it over here to Goodwin. Goodwin rocks the left hand, looks whip shot, and score, it. goal with 18 seconds left. Sarah Goodwin unassisted, nifty one. left hand move, makes it uh, 12 to six. Pushes the lead. Oh, we do got an assist. That was going to be Katie Pascal with the assist. But folks, it looks like it's going to be a little too little, a little too late with 18.3 seconds left. That pushes the lead back to 12-6. Um, the only thing I can tell you is, is win the face, win the draw, get down there and put something on cage as fast as possible. Really, uh, it's as simple as that, folks, as uh, some of the crowd starts to gather their things here. Um, we're getting ready for the draw here. It looks like it's going to be number 24. It looks like it's going to be Messina for CNS. And it looks like it's probably going to be Henwood for Beville. Yeah, great call, Mike. So let's see what we can do here. So CNS, again, a state caliber ball club here, comes in tonight to Baldwinsville and uh, puts a good show on. Pascal but Pascal does come away with it. Yep, that's going to be a slap check oh, with 12 seconds it. left. Yep, Star going to be a slap check. It's going to be uh, Pascal ball. Uh, she's going to probably look here, maybe to Goodwin. No, dumps it right here in the middle. That's going to be Henwood. Henwood pushes it. We're under eight. Looks like she's going to try a shot. Nope, ball down. Knocked out of her cross. Four, three. Goodwin's going to try and get a quick cutter. Does so. Shot, whip, score. With .5 seconds left, makes it 12-7 by number 13, Katie's Pascal, with a great pass by Sarah Goodwin. So never say die, these Baldwinsville bees. Isn't that great? I'll tell you what, these kids don't give up. I'll tell you, they play hard all the way throughout. And you know what? Hard work pays off right there. Goodwin finds a cutting. Katie Pascal. Katie Pascal's ran up and down the field all night long, is rewarded with the goal. Again, it's a little too little, it's a little too late, but you gotta love the enthusiasm. You gotta love the tenacity of this young Baldwinsville club. Uh, Megan Collins has them going in the right direction. Um, just good to see here on a Tuesday night. So with 0.5 seconds left, you're going to get a whistle, and then you're going to get the stoppage of play here, folks. There's your face, and there's your whistle, folks. And like I said, folks, before, your CNS uh, North Stars are going to go to an overall record of 12 and 4, and it's going to push their lead to four and uh, five and three in the CNYCL. Baldwinsville again is going to fall to eight and seven, three and five overall in the CNYCL. Mike, can you give me some final game stats for some of the ladies for CNS? Okay. Megan Trinisky has got four goals and two assists. Uh, Makina, Makina uh, Scarlata, three goals. Jessica Manali, three three goals and one assist. Brenna Duffy has a goal and two assists. And Julie Alberici has a goal. And Olivia Africa has an assist. And real quick for our Baldwinsville girls, what do they do? Who's some of our couple of our good uh, and good these scores? These are unofficial, of course. So we got Peyton Fleming and Sarah Goodwin each had two, two goals and an assist. Maria Henwood had two goals. Hannah Johnson had an assist, and Catherine Pascal had a late goal and an assist. So folks, that's gonna wrap it up here for uh, your, your, uh, your Pack B TV presentation. Uh, for Joe Lafredo, for my good friend Mike Stoliker, I'm Sean Soccer on a wonderful Tuesday night here in Baldwinsville, and we'll catch you at the next game.